Hey guys, today I'm going to show you um, just a quick, quick tutorial on how I do my holographic chrome. Um, so before I took this video, I did my dip obviously with activator, let it dry, and then I did a gel base on the nails and cured. Um, and here I'm applying a gel top coat. So when you do this, you have to cure just partially. Um, which I'm about to do, but I like to do about 25 to 30 seconds and it's still kind of like not quite tacky But enough to really pick up the chrome. So I'm using Zooty Doobie Dust, which I love. It's like a mirror rainbow effect I think it's so pretty like one way you look at it and it's like a mirror rainbow and then the other way and it's sort of like a Almost like a yellowish kind of like snow. I don't know. I love it and I love it with these colors um so this is all aboard from Zooty and then on my um, index and middle finger I have Bite Me Frosty and I just think that they reflect so well together. Um, so after you partially, you partially cure your gel top coat, you have to take this um, chrome and kind of brush it in in circular motions. So for the ombre, I like to start way down at the tip and go really slowly upwards because I'm I'm awful at doing too much, um, like too much too quickly. And then I'm like, well, crap, I don't know where to go from here. So just slow, small circles and move upwards. And if you have like a very distinct line, you can just sort of dip a little bit and kind of pat around where that line is and only some of the, um, the chrome particles will adhere. Um, and then after you do this, so you normally you don't need to cure again. Um, everything will have adhered. If you have anything excess, you'll probably just want to brush it off. But usually when you're, you know, you're rubbing it in really well, it doesn't leave any excess powder. Um, so you can go straight into doing another coat of your top coat without having to do anything extra or even curing again. And it already looks pretty. Look at that. Um, so yep, you just slap that baby on and put on another coat of top coat and cure fully. So this last coat of top coat, make sure it's a nice even layer. You can clean up everything before you go under the lamp. So if you, the thing with gel is if you get any on your skin, like you flood your cuticles a little bit, you don't even need to worry about it because you can just easily um, wipe it off and it won't harden until you're ready for it. And I have to say, I know I say it all the time, but I am terrible with peel base and it just does not work for me. Like look how shredded my nails are. Every time I use it, it's either like they come off in four hours or I'm like fighting with it, putting drops of acetone underneath, trying to get it off until I'm like, you know what? This is not working even though it's lifting at the tip or at the cuticle, so I'm just gonna go ahead and soak off anyway, yay! Um, but enough of that rant. So cure fully, and then the shine is just unreal with gel. I love it. And I think that it's such a cute effect whenever you put chrome on top of anything, like it just really accents it. So let me know if this was helpful. I hope it was. Love you guys so much, and thanks for watching and reading my blog.